timing is everything in breaststroke, and that's certainly no less true of the entry timing. And while the hands don't necessarily come out of the water, there's still a full extension at the front of the stroke, and that's an absolutely critical aspect of effective breaststroke timing. Hi everyone, Andrew here, helping you help your swimmers get faster. When swimmers finish the arm recovery in breaststroke and the hands are fully extended out in front of the body, certain things need to be in place so that swimmers can effectively transition to the next stroke cycle. If the right things aren't happening at the right time, especially when the hands are fully recovered in the front of the stroke, breaststrokers are going to be in trouble. It's all about having the hips and the body in the right position so that swimmers can transition to the next stroke cycle so they can set up the next stroke while maintaining as much alignment as possible and creating as little resistance as possible. And that same skill happens in almost the same way no matter what the stroke rate is, no matter how fast swimmers are swimming. So let's check out what it looks like so that you can better identify what needs to happen and then identify how you're going to help swimmers develop these skills. So this aspect of timing is actually pretty simple, even if it might not be simple to do. So what needs to happen here is that when swimmers recover the arms forward, everything needs to come forward and come back into alignment. So when the swimmer reaches full extension, the head needs to come down, the chest needs to come down, and the hips need to come up so that swimmers are in line, creating as little resistance as possible. And from that point, they can slide out into the pole, they can come up into the pole, and they can do so without creating a ton of resistance because the hips are already back up at the surface. So what she's gonna do here is be pretty aggressive at recovering back down with the head and the chest and the arms, and that's gonna get everything back in line. And what you can see happen here, and because she does a really, really, really good job of keeping the hips up at the surface, they're not gonna pop up quite so much because they're already there, but you can see right there, the hips come back up into alignment right there, and that's because the head's coming back down, the arms are getting out in front, and the chest is coming back down all at the same time. And so if swimmers don't time that all up, they don't do it well, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for the hips to pop up right there and to get back into alignment so that swimmers can go really, really fast. And so that's a key skill that needs to happen when swimmers recover the arms is to get back into alignment as quickly as possible by recovering the hands aggressively forward, by recovering the head and the chest forward, that's gonna bring everything back up into alignment right there, let the hips pop up, and that's gonna set up the next stroke cycle. So if we watch the next swimmer here, she's doing the same thing, but at a much higher stroke rate. And so if you watch, recovers forward, the head comes down, the chest comes down, and you can see those hips pop right up at the surface. So if we watch the hips here, right there, they pop back up, and that's gonna get her into position so that she can create as little resistance as possible and then also move into the next stroke cycle as quickly as possible as well. And so by recovering forwards and getting the hips to come up right there, she doesn't have to wait for the next stroke cycle so that the hips can come up. She can get right into it right away. So by aggressively recovering everything forward with the head, the hands, and the chest, the hips are gonna come back into line faster, just like a teeter-totter. Everything goes down fast, everything comes up fast, and that allows her to move into the next stroke cycle without having to glide, without having to wait for the hips to catch up so that she can get back into alignment. So she can keep everything moving fast by recovering fast, by recovering aggressively. So if we watch one more swimmer here, what we'll see, same thing, aggressive with the hands, aggressive with the head, and then the hips come right up there. And so you can see the hips are a little bit lower, and then right there, they come up. And that's all happening as a consequence of aggressively recovering the chest, aggressively recovering the arms, and letting those hips pop up back into alignment. And so the better swimmers can be with executing that skill upon entry, upon the recovery of the arms, the less time they're going to have to wait in order to get into the next stroke cycle. The faster it's going to happen, the more effectively it's going to happen. The hips are going to come up higher and come up faster, and it's going to take less effort because everything is happening at the right time to help swimmers get into that position as quickly as possible. So if swimmers can learn to aggressively recover, to get everything forward, to get everything down back at the same time, those hips are gonna pop right up into the surface and it's gonna save swimmers a lot of energy, a lot of time, and that's gonna allow them to swim a lot faster. If you wanna learn more about effective breaststroke timing, check out the video above.